Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Just had some company a minute ago and they just left not too long ago. Miss Starr and her husband. We had a wonderful time. I'm glad y'all made it here. They drove two hours all the way to come holla at me. I, I feel honored. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope y'all get home safe because right when they left, it was storming. So somebody sent me a question and I'm about to answer. When do you put your lemon tree in the ground? Number one, before I get started, it depends on where you live at. Now, if you live up north and stuff like that, keep it in the bucket. But if you live down here in the moderate south, like where I am in Columbia, South Carolina, you can put it in the ground. But here's the thing. Number one, these are the trees, well, the air layer cuttings that I took off of Lillian this summer. I want you to see that first before we get into it, okay? So check this out. Here's the smallest one. This was the little baby uh, air layer. Now I sold my other one to a friend of ours and she has that taken care of it. That's the smallest of the bunch. Now here's the other one, which I put the tag on the wrong one, but I'm gonna reveal that in a second. But as you can see, that air layer has fruit all over it. As you can see, fruit, lemons all over that. Before we get to it, when you got thorns like this on your uh, lemon tree and your citrus, take a uh, nail clipper, clip it like toenails, <laughs> just like that. So if you got thorns and they tearing you a new, just go ahead and just clip them off. Take some scissors, it don't matter. I keep some nail clippers on me all the time. Just clip them off. Now, you're gonna get fruit, clearly. So this is uh, showing everybody that you will get fruit. And you can take a large air layer. I want you to introduce you to little Kira, mommy of five. Little Kira, this is yours. This tree right here, everybody, belongs to Kira. I'ma plant this in the ground to finish showing everyone, oh, Kira, your toenails. Little mama, we gotta get your toenails tightened up. <laughs> get them toenails. So, as you can see, she loaded with fruit. Kira, you doing your thing over here, look at this. And this was the biggest air layer that I took. This was like a super experiment. Cause I took this one and as you, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's fruit all up and down this sucker. But as you can see, this how thick of an air layer I took with that. It's thicker than my thumb. So right there, that's telling you guys right there, it works. Now planting it in the ground, this is what I want you to look out for. If you plan on putting your tree in the ground in a moderate climate, like I'm, we're here in Columbia, let your tree get woody like that. You want that to be almost pure brown, hard bark. When your trunk and all most of your tree is green like this, it's gonna die. It's not gonna make it through the winter. See how green that is? That's not gonna make it in the cold. That green, that's still tender, no cover. Just imagine, this is like putting a winter coat on this tree. This, hot, this uh, dark bark, that's not even thick enough for me because I can still see a little bit of the green. I wouldn't put this in the ground yet. It ain't gonna take winter very well. Now what I will do is first thing in the spring, I'm gonna put it in after the last frost to give it all that time to grow in the ground. That way it's gonna harden off all these tender, um, tender branches. Now see this one, this littlest one, I wouldn't even think of it. Most of that is all green, look at that. It's a little bit of wood, but even the main trunks turn green as you get to the top. I would never put this in the ground. I would let this sit in a pot maybe another year let it get a little bit thicker because you want it at least, I'm saying an inch in diameter. That's not an inch. You want it at least to be an inch in diameter. Now, while we looking at that, we saw how big little Kira is. 
Now, let's go see Lily. Okay, you guys, we're coming up on Lemon Lane. All right, as you can see, all the orange trees, the princess led planet, full of oranges, ready to get picked. They turn it orange over there all over the place. Got a couple hanging on them. I took all of them off of this one, ate them. Some limes, but this is what we coming to see. Big Lillian. As you can see, she loaded with giant lemons all over the place. You see that? All over the place. Loaded, loaded. Let me be careful because snakes be back here. Loaded, loaded. That's loaded. But this is why I don't worry about Lillian. When I put her in the ground, I put her in the ground. Oh my God, look at that. Look at all of this. Let's brag for a second here. Good God. Look at that. They all back here. She was linked all, oh my God. She leaning to the ground. Look at that. Look up in there. Remember, she was in the middle of the chimney at the beginning of the year, remember that? Now she linked all the way down because she's full of fruit. You can see this branch just leaning. Anyway, let's get to it. As you can see, I'm not worried about her because most of her main trunks, main branches, is woody. When your branch is even getting woody, now you're doing something. See, here's a fairly new branch here. I'm not worried about that. Not worried about that at all. That might, that might freeze off. Look at all them thorns. That might freeze off, but I'm not worried about that. Long as all of these main branches, look how thick that is. That's about two inches diameter. Look at that. Long as those main tr uh, branches, that's all I need to be worried about. Tender stuff like this dying, I'm not worried. Because it's going to pop right back and get, get woody. But this is what I mean, y'all. You want to plant your tree once it get thick and fully brown like that that's what we looking for little kira maybe first thing spring because that's exactly what lillian used to look like but now look look at that so that's what you want to look for before you go putting it in the ground down here in uh, the carolinas I'm, I'm saying this because i get this question a lot and I figured I better do a video. It might help everybody out. And as you can see, which a lot of people keep telling me, you can't plant citrus in the ground here in the Carolinas. She been in the ground now for three years. Three? Yeah, good three years. And all this citrus here is in the ground. It's fresh, but I put, I put these orange trees in the ground, as you can see, because let's show you, let me show you because the branches was so brown. So you got the scale on it. You need to come out here and spray her. But as you can see how thick and brown that is, two inch, three inch diameter trunk. Let's come around here and see. Look at that. So she gonna make it. See that? She gonna make it. So I just wanted to give y'all a heads up and let y'all see it works but it's a couple of tricks to it make sure it's good and brown nice and woody and number two make sure it's good and woody and make sure you got at least at least a one inch uh, diameter trunk that will help it along and in the winter when it do get cold throw a cloth listen listen close cloth like canvas or a blanket an actual blanket cloth over top of it if it start getting too cold or it's gonna freeze or it's gonna frost throw that over top of the whole thing they're real cheap at these big box stores that give like three or four in a pack that's what i use and it works every year so hope this helped you guys little farmer 73 let's look at little kira again oh look at little kira loaded full of fruit there you go 
So I hope this helped you guys. Because it sure helped me years ago. Look at all of that fruit on there. Look at there. Look at there. Boy, look at that. All right, y'all. Live from 73. I love you. And I'm out.